This is the latest setback for the government. Fighters from the Karen ethnic group seize a base near Miawadi, a town bordering neighboring Thailand and a major overland trading hub. The surrender of some 600 government troops adding to the junta's embarrassment. The civil war is now in its third year and has had a serious impact on Myanmar's economy and its population as the junta struggles to provide basic goods and services. Food insecurity is now affecting some 12.9 million people, nearly 25% of the population. There's an increasing risk of malnutrition, particularly among children and pregnant women. Meanwhile, basic medicines are running out and the health system is in turmoil. The fighting has intensified all across the country as the various fighting groups launch their own campaigns, often with crude homemade weapons against overstretched government forces. In Rakhine State, fighting between the military and the Arakan army has reached an unprecedented level of violence, compounding pre-existing vulnerabilities in Myanmar's poorest region. The Arakan army has reportedly gained territorial control over most of central Rakhine and seeks to expand to northern Rakhine where many Rohingya remain. Even the Kapil Napi door has been attacked with drones. Damage was light, but the attackers unnerved the ruling military junta and brought the conflict closer to home. The junta is using its air force to help its army units that are under growing pressure, but the civilian population is paying an increasing price as the conflict intensifies. Alex Kotopoulos, Al Jazeera. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.